Hey guys, it's me, Mr. Diamond Bullet once again, and you probably guess this from my little intro at the start. Um, I have just reached 1,000 views. Thank you. Um, the music is actually Sophie J B Burton. Go check out her channel. This is Listen um, that I'm listening to right now. So it's not copyright because she's singing it. So um, anyway. So, before today's video starts, yes, I have been working on a Minecraft thing. I want to start this video off today by showing you what I've been doing for the past week on the, the Minecraft bases. And then, we're going to go into Bean Boozled. Actually, first off, I'm just going to sort out my internet on my iPad so that I can go into... Uh, I'm connected, so because I'm going to be doing a live stream today, so I'm going to go into live.me and show you my new account. My last account got disabled for being too famous, um, so I'm just going to show you my account. Be right back. Just going to follow them. Done. So this is obviously live.me messages and everything. So this is me. The diamond bullet. I'm following 19 people apparently. Um, well, I have 19 followers. But uh, yeah, that's me. To find me, just go into live.me and type in the diamond bullet. Look for the one with that. Um, yeah. So I am going to be doing a live stream on this as well, but I'll be using that box over there. Um, so I'm going to get into today's video by starting off by showing you what I've been working on in Minecraft. So just give me a Yeah, we're back in Minecraft with another Sophie J.B. Burton song. But what have I been working on for the past week? This. This is my Let's Build um, world so far. This is my house. Um, there is nothing much in here. Let me just go through and show you. Um, so a double door, but you know, we've got a nice little entrance way um, with quartz slabs and things, a shoe rack, a plant. Um, got some light in. Um, I do have a texture pack on though, so that's a furnace, a fridge. So this is where I'm going to be st starting my Minecraft videos inside my house, but it's not finished, so yeah. Be right back. So no more Sophie Burton. Got my Bean Boozled. Um, I did do a Bean Boozled challenge, but this is called the Ultimate Bean Boozled Challenge. Basically, I've got a bigger box, and actually I think I've got the same size box. These ones are brand new. Um, and I'm going to have five of these. So we've got... What the fuck was that? I don't know. So, I've got Would You Rather Up on my iPad. I've got my Bean Boozled. Ugh, they don't look nice. My spinner. I'm going to spin this five times. And the five that lands on, I will get from the pot. So, the first Would I Rather question is, save the life of a starving African child that you will never meet or have a natural working lightsaber. Now, here's a fact. If I was to have a natural working lightsaber, it'll be pretty advanced technology and I would be able to slice people up, so I'll be killing people with it. But if I save a child's life in Africa, then I'm saving a life. So I'm going to go for that one. Uh, what? One second, I'll just refresh this. One second. Just want to get my head around how this works.
So I think it's the green one that I go for. So 60% said they'd have an actual lightsaber. 40% agreed with me. So that's five of these. So the first pin. That is... This one. Now this one wasn't in my last video. But this is either toothpaste or berry blue. That's that one. That's one. Oops. So this one, rotten egg or buttered popcorn? Oops. Canned dog food or chocolate pudding? Another, uh, rotten egg or buttered popcorn? And another berry blue or toothpaste. So that's five. Good thing we haven't got any bath. But the idea was to eat them all at the same time. So I can't say what I've got in them. Because I'm having them all at the same time. Look, all five are in my hand. One, two, three, four. And five, let me just show you that. So I have got all five in my hand. Um that's in the way now. Three, two, one. got some good news and some bad news. The good news is there was only one bad one. The bad news was it was rotten egg. The first one I bit into. Actually and there's some toothpaste in there. That was all I know. Next one. There's a spot all over my iPad. Would you rather take a European sizing vacation or relax a relaxing Caribbean vacation? A relaxing Caribbean vacation because for those of you who know me, I have been on a tour around Europe sightseeing, so I've also been to London, so Caribbean. 73 people agreed with me. Next one. Would you rather legally change your last name to Hitler or never eat chocolate again? Legally change my last name to Hitler. How can you not ever eat chocolate again? Wait, I'm not sure how this is working. Um, Ryan says, you can't change your back, you are Mr. or Mrs. Hitler from now on. I can take it back because I haven't legally changed my name to Hitler. So, would I rather have no internet or no cell phone? Either way, I couldn't do my videos without, unless, until I get a camera, so no cell phone. 76% of people would rather have no cell phone than no internet. 76% of people who took this. Um, Mickey Cakes says, that's the creator of this, your cell phone does not have internet access. Your cell phone's plan is voice, SMS and data only and does not have Wi-Fi. Well, yes, it does. You can still install mobile games on your phone. Let's pretend you still have access to the App Store. Um, from Nevada, United States, already don't have a cell phone. So I'd rather have no cell phone. Which is mobile phone for those dummies. Would you rather have no one show up to your wedding or your funeral? 
my funeral. I know I got that one completely wrong, but I'd rather have no one come to my funeral because then I won't know, I won't feel as embarrassed because I'm dead. We'll see what the comment says. Wait, who's going to bury me? I'm dead, so I wouldn't care who's there or not. Exactly my logic. Before dying, just say, I hit a million dollars in, and then die laughing. <laughs> so, that one's not fair. But I'm going to spin this five times again. That was a bad spin, but I got... Where is that one? Is there any of that one? Yes, it is. So this one is a new one today. It is... Um, I'm just going to get all of the set because I can't remember. It is Tutti Fruity or Stinky Socks. We've got... Ooh. Coconut or Baby Wipes. Anyway, so the difference between coconut and baby wipes is coconuts, coconut, no, the difference between coconut and baby wipes and rotten egg and buttered popcorn is the baby wipes one is actually just white. Another tutti fruity or stinky socks, that's going to be bad if they're both stinky socks, isn't it? We've got another, that's not the right one, yes, you could probably guess this already, um, coconut, or baby wipes. Another coconut or baby wipes. Because I'm not spinning this slowly. <laughs> so all these are the same um, right now. So we've got three tutti frutti and three coconut. So that's coconut baby wipes and tutti frutti or stinky socks. Let's do this. One stinky socks already. One baby wipes. Actually, I think that's two baby wipes. I can't really taste the stinky socks. So definitely only one of them. Got a bit stuck in my tooth. Um, would you rather go way back in time to meet your ancestors, the pre 1800s, or go way into the future and meet your great grandchildren post 2200? So, 2200, um, from the picture looks cool, but I'd rather go forward in time because I don't know if going back in time I'd stay in that time zone. So, I'd rather go forward in time. Spend the rest of my life in the future than to go back and spend the rest of my life in the past. That's my logic. 74 people agree with me. Let's see what it says. I would go back in time and try to kill Donald fucking Trump and save America. To see me become President Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Hillary Clinton did it. Um, guest from New York, United States said, I'm black, so I'm going to assume they won't let me way back then. Yes, because way back then in America, um, they had a, the great revolution, rev revelation, revolution, resolution, revelation, and um, all of America was just racist. Anyway, would you rather live in a world where there'd be no problems or live in a world where you rule. Hmm. So the advantages of there being no problems, you don't get into arguments with anybody, I end up with no hate on my YouTube channel, um, live in a world where I rule, that's going to just be boring because I can predict every single day. So I'll live in a world where there are no problems. Only 34% of people who did this agreed with me. If I will, then there would be no problems. God, no matter what rules the world. How the f Why the fuck would you do that? That's just boring. Anyway.
So we've got Lime or Lawn Clippings? No, it's not. It's Lawn Clippings. No, it's not. It's Bogey or... What the fuck is that? Oh yeah, Juicy Pearl Bogey. Or Bugger, because it's American. Canned dog food or chocolate pudding? That one's in the middle. Well, actually, another canned dog food or chocolate pudding. Another, not not in this one though. Um, tutti Fruity or Stinky Socks. And finally, let's flick that out of my hand, why not? Uh. What an egg or buttered popcorn. So this one and the next one will be my last goes. Well, my last uh, eaten of these. So we've got two, four, five, yeah. Can you even pause the videos and count these? Got five there. One, two, three, three, four, five. And... I'm not even going to comment. I was just looking at the next two. So, would you rather live in Harry Potter's world or live the life of fame and wealth? Fame and wealth. 64 people agreed with me on that one. Would you rather date a celebrity of your choice or your crush slash the hottest person you know? Um, hmm. If you have a celebrity crush, pick option A. Pick option B if you'd rather date someone that you already know. I'm going to pick... Um, oh, that's right in the comment. My crush slash the hottest person I know. 67% of people agreed with me there. That's going well. Would you rather find true love or $10 million? True love because $10 million is of no use to me. Uh, 48 people agreed with me. So this is the last five of these I'm going to do. So we've got toothpaste or berry blue. Peach or vomit. Lawn clippings or juicy pear. No, that's wrong. Lawn clippings or lime. Tutti Fruity or Stinky Socks. And finally... Coconut Baby Wipes. So five, let's down the hatch. Three, two, one. Vomit in the no.
So that's it for this Bean Boozle Challenge. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, squash that like button like it's a bug. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.